Hello. <laughs> you know what? Let me do this real quick. Let's see. Maybe I need two of these. There. I'll put in both ears. Then you can hear me better. So hi guys, uh, it's Amanda Noddings, if you don't know me, and I wanted to share with you guys a little recipe I'm making tonight because, you know, i um, hungry and I want something filling and substantial. Hey Jill! And um, I want something that's gonna like, I'm in a little Mexican theme, so Daryl made burgers for him, Elijah and I, and I'm gonna have that with this as a side but you could make this a lunch or just a, a thing all of its own or just maybe a late night snack that you're not gonna feel terribly guilty about. And it is cauliflower nachos. And I know that sounds really crazy, but I promise if you try it, you're going to like open your mind a little. Um, it might not be something you would think of having. Hey Kim, hey Trista. So um, it's not your traditional idea. Now there are lots of people who substitute cauliflower for all sorts of things like pizza crust and this and that and the other. And here's the deal with that. Um, if you're doing like keto or whatever, that works well, but usually those recipes are almost all cheese. And then also, um, it's a lot of work. You gotta smash it and steam it and squeeze out all the water. And then, this is much simpler. This is like a 10 minute deal. And then you throw it in the oven for like 30 minutes, 35 minutes. So let's get started. I'll just show you what I have going on right now. So we're gonna start with cauliflower, right? And two teaspoons of olive oil. This is pretty basic. So you've got your oven preheating to 425 and you've got two teaspoons of olive oil here. Now the original recipe for this um, just says drizzle this on top and then sprinkle the spices on it. But I like to personally, and this is just my own personal opinion, I like to put it in a bowl my olive oil, and then I'm gonna take my chopped up head of cauliflower. Now this is a small head, um, if you get an extra huge large one. So I put it in here just to measure so you can see about four cups worth of chopped up cauliflower. And I like to just put it in the bowl to toss it. So you're gonna to toss it in that two teaspoons of olive oil and get it so it has a little olive oil on all the surfaces. So you just kinda, of, I know it's kinda of bright, sorry. Toss a, all this <laughs> together and then it's so like that original recipe said drizzle it with the two teaspoons of olive oil this is just my preferred way because i think it gets that olive oil spread out better and then you have these seasonings it also says sprinkle those on top well i put mine in a little dish Oops, you can see and i just mix them together in here so what i have in this is a half a teaspoon of cumin and i just have a massive thing of cumin from Costco because I use it a lot on fajita and any kind of Mexican type of seasonings. So half a teaspoon of cumin, um, a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. So I mix it all together and then I sprinkle that on the cauliflower in the bowl. And all that does is it kind of spreads it out better so you don't get one bite where you have a big clump of cumin and one bite where you have a big clump of chili powder. So I, if I do that, it kind of evenly coats them. Okay, so now I've got those all mixed up and seasoned up. You can see that. I can't really see through your comments, so. Um, but thanks for saying hi. Hi, Lila. Hi, Christine. So you've got it all tossed. Two teaspoons of olive oil and your little thing of seasoning. So a half teaspoon of cumin and then a quarter teaspoon each of sea salt, um, garlic powder, and chili powder. Now, why am I using cauliflower? Well, first of all, because it's a great way to get some veggies in. Cauliflower are really high in fiber, so they're great for your digestion. And they're also really filling. So even if I was... It's not that I can't eat a nacho, but if I was gonna have a nacho, it's not gonna be as filling with tortilla chips for the same quantity as it would be with this because they're dense and full of fiber. Plus there's tons of other benefits to cauliflower like phytonutrients and it's good, it's, um, theorized, I should say, to be a good anti-carcinogen and have all these other benefits because it's so good for your digestive system and colon. So let me grab a pan here. This is a massive pan, but that's all right. So I'm just gonna take a baking sheet and I'm gonna put a little parchment paper on it. If you don't have to do that, you can use a nonstick pan. You can um, spray it with whatever spray you like. But I like parchment paper just because it's really easy. It keeps it nonstick and then when it's over, I just take it off. Make sure you turn it the other way so it doesn't roll up like the Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay, 
So I've got my pan here and I just take my cauliflower and put it on here. Spread it out so it's in an even single layer. Anytime you're oven roasting vegetables, you can do multiple vegetables at a time, but you wanna cut them the same um, size approximately. That way they all get done at the same size. So if you have some really huge pieces of cauliflower or zucchinis or whatever else you're roasting mushrooms, just remember that tip because uh, if they're all different sizes, then you'll get a bite of one and it's cooked and soft and a little crisp on the outside and perfect and the next bite could be half raw or the next bite could be burnt. So here I have it all spread out on the pan. The oven's heated to 425 and I'm gonna put it in there for 35 minutes. And you guys are gonna be super impressed right now because I've done something I've never done before in a live cooking video, which is I already did that step. I know, right? Who am I? So this is my second batch because I'm gonna eat this again tomorrow as my lunch. So I'm gonna put it off to the side here and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it comes out. Cause I have it ready. Make sure I can touch it. Okay, so this just came out of the oven. So this is exactly what we just did, but done. So it's roasted up, the seasonings are on there. They change flavor when they're roasted. So they have a really good flavor. The house smells kind of like fajitas or tacos and who doesn't love that smell, nachos. So there's that. Now we're gonna top it, right? And we're gonna put it in for only like four more minutes. Like, like, like. So I've got my roasted cauliflower and I'm going to put on top of it. You know what I should do? I should try and make this a little taller so you could see it. Let's see if I knock you over, I apologize. Whoa. Joey. Let's see if I can do this, sorry. Don't fall over guys. Okay, now you can kind of see this. So I'm gonna take my ingredients here, or my toppings, and what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use a half a cup of cheddar cheese. Oh, this is actually like a Mexican cheese blend. Um, you can use Colby Jack, Pepper Jack, whatever you want. So I have this Mexican cheese blend, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top. A little bit, I'm gonna take a cup of bell peppers chopped up. I have orange and red in here. The recipe actually only calls for half, but it also calls for a quarter cup of tomato and a quarter cup of chopped red onion. I'm fresh out of chopped red onion, and I don't really mind if it's not here, so I'm just gonna go without it. So I just added some extra peppers instead. So I'm gonna sprinkle those on top. You can kind of see what I'm doing here at the bottom of the screen. And then the tomatoes, I believe, are better when you put on nachos cold. So I'm gonna add those at the end. I'm gonna put the rest of the cheese on here. So a half a cup of this cheese. And that's it. They're gonna go back in the oven for three to four minutes. So I'll put them in there. And then you guys will get to see what this looks like when it's done. So for toppings on top of that, on top of the, on toppings on top, uh, in addition to the tomatoes, which I've got a half cup of chopped tomato here, all ready to go. I also have some chopped up cilantro, which some people don't like. It's a pretty strong flavor, but I think it's crucial to like the final step, not only visually, because you always eat with your eyes first, but also just that smell and the flavor. You can put it on before you cook it or after. Um, might get a little crispy if you put it on before, but if you don't mind that, it does make it really aromatic and smell really good. So that's a topping. And I also have a chopped up small avocado and you could do a guacamole here instead, but what I want is a half a cup of avocado. So I have a half a cup of cheese and a half a cup of avocado. So those are my healthy fats that I'm putting on this dish. When that's done, when it comes out, all I have to do is sprinkle my two tablespoons of cilantro on top and I'm gonna put the tomatoes on and it is set. So if you want those ingredients again for the veggies, you're looking at, or for all the toppings, once it came out of the oven, you're talking about half a cup of pepper jack cheese, a quarter cup of chopped tomato, a quarter cup of chopped red onion, which I skipped in this demo, a quarter cup of bell pepper, and then jalapeno. You can devein a small jalapeno and chop that up into bits. Now I know Elijah is gonna be picking at this and he's not gonna be happy if he gets jalapeno. What's this face? Oh, the drool face, I like that. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> I love that one. Um, he's not gonna, so usually I modify things 
to fit my kids. So if your kids are going to be having this too, and you never know, guys, really, um, they might surprise you, especially if you let them help you make it, make it with you. So, um, the jalapeno or like the chili powder in the beginning, we started with a half a teaspoon of chili powder. Maybe I would lower that to a quarter teaspoon if my kids are gonna eat it. A half teaspoon though, I happen to know is okay for him in this amount in this serving. But some kids, if you wanted it more mild, you could just skip that all together. And you could sprinkle it on just your portion at the end when it comes out. So that's an easy way to make it something that your kids will eat too if they're not into spicy foods. So let's see what else. So I've got my avocado ready and my tomatoes ready and my cilantro. So I'm gonna pull this out of the oven here and we'll see how delicious it looks. Let me get myself some, some sort of hot pad on the counter so I don't burn something or light the place on fire. Daryl really hates when I do that. Huh, Daryl? Right. <laughs> Said you hate when I light things on fire or burn things. All right, so we'll pull this out. So good, you guys. Nah. <laughs> so like I'm saying, if you are keto or whatever, this will work for you. I personally am not, I like carbs, but either way, this recipe will work for both. It's just a really healthy alternative. Let me see if I can take this, put this on here, not light us all on fire. Okay. Kinda, kinda. I'm gonna end up either spilling this or burning myself, I'm positive, because it is balanced on like a glass measuring cup on the edge of my counter. But hey, the things we do, right? So you'll take your two tablespoons, which I just sprinkle and eyeball, but you can do whichever. And actually, I should have showed you. I don't know if I did up close how good that looks. Hey, Bianca, doing some cauliflower nachos here. So. Don't die. Okay. Take my half a cup of tomato. If this was your recipe, you could do a quarter cup tomato and a quarter cup of um, whatever the other bell pepper. My bell pepper's already on there. So I'm gonna put these tomatoes on top. So we've got all this gorgeous color, all the different nutrients from the tomatoes and the bell peppers. Those are all different phytonutrients. They're all really good for you. And plus it just looks beautiful. You've got that gooey, gooey cheese. You can put a little more sprinkle on top if you want. And then we're gonna do this avocado that I diced up. It is. Bede. <laughs> and then, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I actually cut up a whole avocado. You'd just be using a half. I know we all want to have the whole thing, but um, having a good healthy amount, that's the difference between going a little overboard or not. And you just put it on here like this. And you've got your, God, that's a lot of good avocado. Who doesn't love avocado? <laughs> Two tablespoons of cilantro, but I just do a little thing like this. And boom, that's it right there, you guys. See, I told you I was gonna make this quick because I cheated at the magic of cooking the cauliflower first. So there you have it. It's very gorgeous, as you can see. And it has tons of ooey gooey cheese on there. What? Right now, like, yes. Now, if you follow my food plan, you would divide this in four. It'd be four servings, and each serving is a green, a blue, and a half a teaspoon. Easy peasy. So you've got a half a teaspoon of healthy fats from the olive oil that we first tossed it in. You've got a green between all the veggies you added, even maybe more, but at least a green. Hi, Renee. Yes, so good. And then you also have the healthy fats from the avocado and the cheese. That's where you get your blue. So there you have it. I hope it's something you guys try. I hope this is an idea maybe you haven't 
had or hadn't thought of. Super quick and easy. You wanna make it super simple. Don't even buy, and this is gluten-free. This is, I mean, everything free. There's nothing here that anyone I know on any special diets can't have except for the cheese. If you're vegan, you'd wanna huck the cheese or buy some vegan-approved non-dairy cheese. Yeah, a lot of kids actually like cauliflower or broccoli with melted cheese on it or cheese sauce. So if they do, they would probably love this. A lot of kids like nachos, right? So if you let them help you make this, they get to put the olive oil and they get to stir it. They get to toss it all together and they can help put their toppings on. They might be way more likely to try this for you. Hi, Michelle. This is a great diabetic option, actually. Since I see you, I think of that, my favorite diabetes education nurse. So yeah, let me know if you guys like it, what you think of it. And actually, before I let you go, let's just take this big plate here and plate up one serving so you can see how, what size that is. This ooey gooey goodness. All that yummy avocado, cheese, so I just kind of use my spatula to divide it into four, and then we're set. Oh my God, this could be so good. So there you go. You have this bowl, this big old plate bowl, and that's one serving. And like I said, it's a serving of healthy fats and veggies. So if you wanted to double it up, I don't think it's gonna ruin you. I don't know anybody who got fat eating veggies, okay? They're good for you. And that's a nice treat, late night thing, hell of a lot better than fourth meal at the Taco Bell drive-thru. And it will hit that craving, that Mexican craving, that, that nacho craving, and also, it's like I was saying in the beginning, all this added fiber and the bulk of this dish from the cauliflower is really gonna make you feel full and satisfied more so than a salty chip would, okay? So there it is. I hope you give it a try. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think if you try it. And if you wanna save this recipe, make sure and share it to your page or share it whatever with a friend that you think might like it. That really helps me and I appreciate all you guys. All right, have a good night. Love you guys and I hope you love it. Bye.